Okay, this problem here is probably going to be one that's going to cause the most trouble out of anything, but it doesn't occur as often, but I want to show you how we're going to get around it. If you notice the dimensions on this one, we have 12 feet 8 inches here and 9 feet 1 inch. Uh, they are in inches, but they're not on multiples of three, and so they're not going to come out real well. well I'm actually going to show you that here with the 12 feet 8 inches and show you why we're not going to be able to use this one here. So if I uh, look at, set up my scale the same way I have before, one quarter inch over one foot, and I'm going to put my feet down here. To get that, I put my eight inches over 12 and reduce that down, and we end up with two thirds. So I end up with 12 and two thirds feet on the bottom. You get that looking like a two. 12 and two thirds feet. Again, to uh, get this to where we can work with it when we do our cross multiplication, because we're going to do our cross multiplication right here, I need to change this in the 12 and 2 thirds into an improper fraction. So I do 3 times 12 gives me 36. 36 plus 2 gives me 38. So I have 38 over 3. And I'm multiplying that by the 1 fourth that we had from the top of the other side. So to help us out, we can do a little bit of canceling here. The 4 will cancel out with the 38. It'll cancel down to 2 and 19, reduces each of them by 2. And now if I multiply straight across, 1 times 19 gives me 19 over, and 2 times 3 gives me 6. Again, we don't want to leave this in an improper fraction. We're going to go ahead and change it to a mixed number. So if I change this to a mixed number here, 6 goes into 19 three times leaves me with 1, and so I would get 3 and 1 6 inches. Now the problem is, is when you look at your ruler, we can deal in halves, we can deal in quarters, we can deal in eighths and sixteenths, but there's no way for us to be able to deal with a sixth of an inch. So we're not going to be able to use this uh, as is. We're going to have to actually change that 8 inches, and so this is how we're going to end up doing it. If we look, I'm going to write up here multiples of 3, 0, 3, 6, 9 and 12 because these are the inches that are going to end up working out well when we do our conversion on it and I look at my 12 feet 8 inches the 8 inches is going to fall in between the 6 and the 9 and it's actually going to be closer to the 9 so this 12 feet 8 inches we're actually going to adjust and we're going to make it 12 feet 9 inches so all we've done is we figured out where that 8 inches is in between our 6 and our 9. It's closer to the 9. We're going to adjust it to make it 12 feet 9 inches. So that when we get this set up again, we'll go ahead and do this again. Get our scale set up. 1 quarter inch over 1 foot. And that equals on this side over here. I have to go through... Set up my uh, 9 over 12 gives me 3 fourths when I reduce it, so I get 12 and 3 fourths feet. And I go through and I do our cross multiplication. Again, if you have a calculator that will handle it, wonderful. If not, you're going to have to do it manually. So again, I have 1 fourth from our top times. And I have to go in and do my, change it into an improper fraction. 4 times 12 is 48. 48 plus 3 is 51. So we end up with 51 over 4. Multiply that out. I'm going to end up with 51 over 16. Do not want to leave that as an improper fraction. We need to change it back to a mixed number so we can do our measurements out. 16 will go into 51 three times. 3 times 16 is 48. So that will leave me with 3 left over, taking the 48 out of the 51. 3 and 3 sixteenths. The denominator stays the same. So when I go and measure this across here, we're going to end up with 3 and 3 sixteenths of an inch. So to show you how we're doing that again, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the 9 feet 1 inch. I'm just going to have to move the screen down to be able to do that. So we'll go ahead and do that. So 9 feet 1 inch, we're going to do the same thing again. So 9 feet 1 inch. Since it's not on a multiple of 3, uh, I'm going to go ahead and automatically go to my inches here and figure out where it's going to fit in because I know it's not going to work. Again, 0, 3, 6, 9, and 12, are those are going to be the only multiples that will actually work for when we put our measurement in. 
So the 1 falls in between the 0 and the 3, and it's closer to the 0. So we're actually going to change this 9 feet 1 inch to just 9 feet. I'm going to change it just to 9 feet, because 9 feet 0 inches is the same thing as 9 feet. And so now when we go do our conversion, this one should be pretty easy. 1 quarter inch to 1 foot. I know that my 9 feet is going to go on the bottom, my x on the top. We do our cross multiplication here. 9 times the 1 fourth gives me 9 fourths. We saw this in one of the early examples. And I convert that out to 2 and 1 fourth inches. So on our drawing, if I scroll back up here, this 9 feet 1 inch, we're no longer going to label as 9 feet 1 inch. We're going to label it as 9 feet. And we know that the length, or the width in this case, sorry, is going to be 2 and 1 quarter inch on the drawing. Because otherwise, you're going to end up running into a lot of trouble trying to be able to measure uh, sixths and twelves and 24s and 48s and so forth. So hopefully this will help you be able to figure out what to do if you get